Well, folks, look who's back. <laughs> Kenwood uh, TS450S is back. This one I done a video on there a little while ago. The display, all this was all dead, and the radio was pretty much dead in the water, and I managed to resurrect her. Well, the issue, she's back again, but for something completely different this time. Uh, she's back this time because it seems her receivers not the greatest. It's there, but so I was just playing around with the antenna connector back here. Hear that? Hear that? Hear that? I think we got a bad connection on our antenna connector here. Now, the question is, how the hell do I get inside of that? I might have to change out this connector possibly. All right, well, let's start by pop the cover off of this little beast and uh, see what we can get into here. I'm betting this connector is totally shot. She's pretty uh, wide out there. I'm gonna try something here, just uh, before it does anything. Just see if closing them together. No. Alright, we definitely got a bad connector going on here for sure. Bad connector or broken wire going to the going to the connector. One or the other. So I'm gonna pop the cover off of this and uh, see where it leads us. Again, this is on the Kenwood TS 450S. There's the radio, by the way. Anyway, this video is for you, Mr. Dean. Let's get her fixed, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you to Exhibit A right there. It's always a fine sight to see on the antenna connector. connection going on here. Yep, you got a bad connection right here in the corner of the board. So I'm gonna have to pull this board out, rework this, rework this over here in the corner, unplug all this, take this board out and uh, have a look over here. See what I can do with it. But that down there is definitely a problem there, folks. So, uh, give me a couple of minutes there while I uh, get this board taken out of, the, out of this and uh, see if I can't uh, put some. What the hell is that? Anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna get this board taken out and. Uh, See if we can't do something with this corner. Yep, definitely there. Okay, so I took the connector out. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna replace the connector anyway. It looks pretty warm and dark looking in there. I'm gonna replace that anyways. But uh, as soon as I remove the board, I noticed uh, exhibit B uh, pop right out of the board. So there's a cold solder joint on that. Um, that's a ground wire that's supposed to be connected to the body of the connector here. And uh, yeah, and there's supposed to be a wire going from the connector to this point right there. So I got to uh, a small length of wire and hook that up, put a bit of wire there, put another piece of wire in here, and make a couple little jumpers. So when I put the connector back on, I can just solder the wires on to where they got to go, and everything will be nice and nice and uh, nice and happy like. This solder joint right there. You can see how the solder failed. It came right out of the board all together. Cool solder joint. So I'm gonna fix these little couple little things and uh, then we'll get this straightened away. Minor stuff, minor, minor. It's minor stuff, boys, minor. Let's get her cleaned up here and uh, get that fixed up. Oh yes, you wanna take this board out? Disconnect this uh, connector here. Push this connector back through, which is this black one. And uh, take your connector off, and this board just come right out, no problem. Disconnect a couple little plugs or whatnot, but nothing, nothing too serious. Anyways, let's uh, enough talking. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this going. All right. So I replaced the old uh, SO239 that was under. I put a put a fairly new one under the head. That uh, the inside is not all uh, stretched out, basically pushed out, and this is what I did with the inside. I added a uh, that red wire, put a little bit of lint to it because uh, pushing the cable in there and taking it out and putting it in, it, it uh, well, let's just say it moves. As you can see, so you need a little bit of uh, slack back there. So I got that put in. I've got the uh, bulb or diode or whatever that is put in there. I got the ground reconnected. So now we're gonna put the cover back on her and give her a try and see what she feels like. I bet she's going to work 100% there now. Way better than it did. TS 450S back in the land of the living once again. Okay, so before I let you go, I may as well test the radio on the uh, on the watt meter, uh, watt meter on the dummy load made here, and uh, see as to where we got going on here.
No, no more server. Power is a hundred watts. Yeah, so. And she's drawing a hefty. And the hundred watt she is drawing. Close to 15 amps. <laughs> she's drawing close to 15 amps on 100 watts. That's on CW. Anyway, folks, again, that's into a dummy load. Not into antenna, so relax. Anyway, folks, I'll say 73 again. Chat later. She ran a 63. I'm out of here.